I'm not gonna chop this tree down. I don't chop any of these trees down. I need them for save points. And then we'll be hanged to the west side, from the east side to the west side to all my homie buddies. Yeah. Actually, we do need to go to the east side, but we need to go through the subway to do it. Now you probably want. Now you probably want. What? Meant. what? I don't even know what the fuck that meant. Of course you don't. <laughs> now you're probably wondering, what the hell am I doing? Flying dancing. In first person. No. No, what I'm doing is counting my steps. I thought and you were doing the bolero. Nope. I'm counting my steps before I enter the velvet room. Because, remember how I said that there was a cheat you can do to influence your um, first fusion upon a hard reset or a soft reset? Indeed you did. This is the, this is the cheat in question. <coughs> Not imagine, it's a cheat in action. Hmm. And this is a cheat that you can show to all your friends. Yes, this is uh, video evidence. We took 49 steps, by the way. And, um, yeah, pretty much, um, for this particular one, it doesn't matter if it's a white, red, or blue fusion. So instead of on bar, we get... Woo! Hmm, it seems there's been a regularity in the process. Anubis. Of the Temperance Arcana. Used to be Judgment. Uh, or will be Judgment. You forget we're in the past. <sighs> anyway. Indeed, we, we are in the past. Mm hmm And thus, we must play by the rules of the past. Anyway. Uh, in regards to counting your steps before you go into the Velvet Room, remember, it only applies if it's the first fusion you do after a hard reset or a soft reset. By that, I mean toggling it on or off, or hitting the PS Home button. Which means you can't do it if you try to reload your save from the in-game menu. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh, Tenjiku Tokabe of the Fool! Balanced stats and strong against all attacks! Anubis? Eh, it's a mixed bag. Yeah. I, I only did some so, so I could demonstrate the the fusion accident you can that you can manipulate to your advantage. And yeah, to be fair, Anubis has never he's never really been that great to me. Tenjiku Tokube, on the other hand, uh, he's one of three personas that are of the full arcana, and those are I guess said before you can only get them through fusion accidents. In, in order to get a full card. You must, um, you must uh, count your steps until you get 101 before you enter the Velvet Room after a hard or soft reset. That is with a white fusion. If it's a red fusion, the, the, least, amu the least amount of steps you need is 275. Ah! And the thing is, there are, all, there are all kinds of combinations that will lead you to getting a certain result. By that I mean like all stats plus two, random spell inheritance, or arcana change to fool, temperance, justice, world, chariot, lovers, magician, sun, judgment, hermit, priestess, hierophant, or moon. Or yeah, or just any of those. Anyway. Yes, this is set amount of dough, and this time the clerks are different. Ah, uh, yeah. But here's something else I should challenge the audience to to do. Say. Tenjika Togabe. Togabe. <laughs> Ten times fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do that on camera. But anyway, it. The <laughs> anyway, um, the Santa Monica services have now been expanded to include uh, the fact you can trade in your gems for items or for incenses. So there is a reason to hold them back, other than for probably fusion. Either that or negotiations. Speaking True. of. Uh, speaking of fusions. Um, the, the the fusion cheat will not work if it's with uh, if, 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 if it's it will not work if it's with fusions that that use magic stone tablets or items. I'm sure, you can't use those for the fusion, but it does work with um, totems and gems. And ah. and it only works in the velvet rooms where enemies do not appear in the surrounding area. Which uh, by that I mean the Makaga Sun Mall or the Joy Street Mall. Also, it doesn't matter what kind of moon cycle it is. Special treasures, huh? What do you got? Well, let's see what um, this person has. Bead, Royal, royal Bead, Ball of Life, this stone, this para, this poison, this sick, slick drop, uh-huh, turtle candy, 
Silver Prayer Wheel, Chewy Soul, Life Stone, ooh, that's nice, Repulse Bell, Core Shield, but here we go, here comes the, be the good ones. A Soma! <laughs> Maragi Stone, Maragi On Stone, yes, you can, you can get Magic Stones here, with if you have the right uh, amount of gems. And Mapufula. Yeah, you get, if you have the right amount of gems, you can get stock up on these stones, so you can use them for fusion. Or you can use them as attack items. Make a Dolo Stone. <laughs> like a, uh, Brace of the Devil Arcana, I, like I may have said before, he, give, he gives you uh, a Make a Dolo Stone upon reaching max rank and you, when you return it. <coughs> anyway, yep, and here's the incenses. Strength, Vitality, Dexterity, Agility, Luck, HP, and SP. Meh. I'll hold on to these gems for now. For now. Do, 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 do. Anyway, we gotta, where we gotta go now? We need to actually go to the subway. But first, we gotta find the expel mirror. Hm. Don't know how to explain it. Yeah, pretty much we get. Pretty much, I think we can come here in order to, uh, in order to get a recap of what to do. If you feel like you're back to being a normal high schooler. Do you know what that's even like? Hmm. Well, maybe. Anyway, Not really, considering the whole slaying demons thing and defending the school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you ran smacking the demon yesterday, but just when you... Oh, but then I walked away! It was like, it was looking for someone in particular. Eh? Anyway... Oh! I'll see that. You, cl you clear your heads so you remember what to do. Yeah, just... just you come here just so you can get a recap on things, I guess. Anyway... I should note, uh, Rosa Candida, or Candira, uh, you can now buy armor there. <laughs> there's no way everything can be fun in games. And of course, there's the casino right here. Mmm, in short, you think it's okay to live in the moment? Personally, I don't think so. Hmm. Because if you, if you just live... <laughs> yeah, an awful lot of them lately. Because if you just live in the moment, then there's no excitement in life. There's no reason to keep living, if you know what I mean. Because if you keep living in the moment, you have no future. Oh yeah. Again, it goes back to Mizuki from Yumi Miru Kusuri. Hey, ooh, keep it rounds and silver bullets. Yeah. But yeah, that yeah, does. yeah, 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 it does. Anyway, yes, we can buy weapons and um, bullets here. Oh, Takayama? <laughs> yes, there is. So, they know about Shibuya, but they, know, but they don't know about the other place. Oh, by the plaza wall? <laughs> this place seems limited by somebody's imagination. That can what? I don't get it! Uh, oh, so you're just gonna stay here anyway. Even though there's probably gonna be a demon that's gonna use me in some provocative way. Hee <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. They are demons. Oh, yeah? But now there's That's... a weird, but now there's a weird wall to surface and a monster to take a gate. Yeah, it does. It, it does kind of suck. Oddly, that sounds more like our world. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Rosa Candida. You could buy armor. Yeah, and yeah, you could buy guns. Let's see, what does everyone have to say? The worst fashion sense. <laughs> Where? I don't know. Uh huh. Sus suspiciously specific denial, Mark. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, Mr. Six Pack Leader. No, seriously, he doesn't wear a shirt underneath his uniform jacket. Uh, wait, things are nice every day. Mm, I guess that's okay. Oh, yeah? Nervous? Oh. Hmm. Well. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. But you have any armor with number one markings? Mm, probably not. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, hello. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for some good armor. What do you got? Mannequin. Mannequin. Uh. Oh, we got uh, this armor. Oh, a golden armor. It's like plus three defense for uh, for uh, females, obviously. Maki. Yeah, uh, Belgrieve. I have no money. 
Yeah, we're we're pretty broke right now due to all that we spent on, on gun. ailment items, I think. And guns. If I recall, I spent, I, I, if I recall, I spent money on guns in the last episode. Lots and lots of guns. Can you, can you not have enough guns? Neo would know. So would Bayonetta. <laughs> Yeah, they've attacked us. Yeah, they ignore the humans around here. Choosing their targets, huh? Hmm. They won't attack ya. Well, they get when Oh, they only recently really started getting bad here a little while ago? Wait, you say that as if they've been around here for a very long time. Or something like that. Uh, <laughs> uh if you say so. Oh. Okay, I think we gotta get out of here. Always, I'm going to start singing, and then everyone's going to leave. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's talk to the clerk. Oh, your idiot son, Tadashi? <laughs> he can't stand the sight of her. Oh, yes, Besson, right. Even here, he hates his own son. Some things never change. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's... Battle drink. Uh, okay. But yeah, apparently, uh, you only had to worry about demons when the girl in black showed up. But now, they're becoming much more widespread. That's, that's what the vibe I got from what that guy said. And considering that there's no such thing as a police station or anything, I imagine everything's just been happy go lucky and everyone got along with each other. Somehow. Until, uh, more, uh, I, until more or less I'm willing to bet that all changed when Condor came along. I imagine so. Hey, look, M16. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we'll find GoGo13. -Go I'd rather take an M4A1 tactical assault rifle, thank you very much. <sighs> I miss Basically. That. Yeah, I love that rifle, especially in Paris ID 2. Uh, for some reason, I kind of like the... I, I kind of like that, uh, silenced pistol that you got, the... Uh, I, I, you got. I, oh, yeah, the pt 9 Yeah, that came with the flashlight. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, don't mind me just buying some stuff, like some bombs of life. Oh, so many enemies fall prey to the damn flashlight. Well, that and the silencer with... It has a good critical hit rate, but not as high as the PO8. No, but still... The the flashlight more than makes up for the, the lack of power. Mm. It does against some enemies, especially stalkers. And then you found out that mobs instantly die to flashlights. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, doctor's office. Let's see what the doctor's up to. Hey, you got something new to try out in the uh -huh. P2 LP? <laughs> if you ever think about it. Oh, no, I, I I like using the. I'm gonna put out of business if the demons went away. But, yeah, but no. Heal me. Dude, but dude, in my old P2 run, I did use the P229 quite a bit with the flashlight. Yeah, but you didn't use it on the mobs, did you? No, I did. I did. Yeah, but you were so surprised that I did it. No, I did. No, it's just that. Ah. It's, it's just been a while. So, mm, got a point there, Ragey. Hell, we're all trying to just get back home. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, uh, As if... It's like this world's never heard of a fucking therapist! Like, well, then again, uh, oh, Maki. Oh, yeah, she hates doctors. I forgot about that. At least that seems to be consistent. Mm. Anyway, uh, just want to, I was trying to get inside the, uh, the historical society, because that's where we need to go. The Lost Forest. Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually a dungeon later. Anyway, we gotta go in here. Uh, assuming, assuming they'll let me in. There. <laughs> No, you can't go in. It's glitched. <laughs> hey, apparently that nurse in the doctor's office was like, it's dangerous outside. Uh, don't go alone, or whatever. Take this. Uh, don't worry, I got a Priscilla. I'll be fine. Let's just do it again. Mm. Just so long as I don't get plot deft. Don't worry, we won't. Oh, yeah, that's the expel mirror. Wow. Oh. That was like... What the? That was way too easy. Wait, we shouldn't. That pick kind of looked like... It was a little girl's face, but she was saying not to take this. 
what's wrong with taking the expel mirror away from here? Well, yeah, you got a point there. We need it. Oh, my. Oh, that girl in white. Maybe we should actually listen to her on this. Mm, well, nah. We need this if we want to get Condory. <sighs> well, sorry. I guess. W sorry, but well, but thou must. But oddly, her face looked really familiar, like a young Maki. Would you say? Mm. Yeah. That couldn't be. No, that would just be way too convenient, wouldn't it? Not to mention mind screwy. But then again, this world is kind of full of mind screws in itself, and the fact that. Well, we don't know what really happened to our real Maki. Y yet. We don't know what happened to our world at this time. Yeah, because we're currently trapped in this one. Oh, Wyverns! Wyverns? No, not that shit again. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna have to go call a good friend of mine. What? Okay, I gotta get my dragon out. Uh, here, let's bribe. Ah, uh-oh. Don't care my humans! You're not a dragon. You're a pale imitation of one. Okay, uh, what do you want? Amethyst? Very well, take it. I know a certain dragon who would by no means slaughter your kind despite being the pacifist of the group, oddly. Eh? Uh, it's the dragon from, uh, Drakengard 3. Ah, right. Anyway, um, since we got some time to kill, obviously we got about uh, roughly about a half hour in this dungeon or whatever. Oh lord! It's better to give. It's better to make it a 50-minute video. Dark elves. They have a 2,000 attack power and only 600 defense, but if they attack, they lose a thousand life points. Well, that and uh, apparently uh, they don't have a magnetic field, so we're fine. Huh? Owie! I suppose so, but... You eat death! Oh! Took some decent damage from that. Nani? What? Yeah, Japanese. What? <laughs> oh, now she has Argalom. Oof. And of course, we don't know what the weaknesses are. And poor Nanjo is going to be stuck doing debuffing for the entire place. Because I wanted to level up that persona. So it's up to the others to, to do the hurting. Oh, well. Looks like they're weak to grab these spells. Looks like it. Anyway, uh, yeah, as we, since we have some time to kill, uh, you're probably wondering what the hell was that deal with, uh, you know, that thing from back then that tried to kill us with uh, bullets? Uh, you mean that tank thing that... Yes, Tesso. Anyway, Tesso, or the Iron Rat, is a demon in Japanese mythology said to be the size of a full-grown man with metal teeth and claws that could shred almost anything. Apparently, this demon had the ability to summon swarms of regular rats to do its bidding. And fun, and fun fact, Tesso was originally a Buddhist monk named Raigo. However, due to being slighted in life, he ignited a hunger strike which led to his death. Afterward, the anger he felt transformed his spirit into the demon. A demon that became what looked like something that you'd see on a kid's playground with a 50 caliber machine gun that Bert Gummer would not hesitate to use even if the design would make him go, eh. Actually, no, that was a girl in black who did that. Uh, the real, the, the actual Tesla was not like that at all. Of course. I know, I'm just... I'm just a messing with you. And, despite what you may think, the original soundtrack of Revelations is in this game. It's just uh, a lot of the tracks were, you know, changed. You know, to, uh, the, the, some of the motifs from the previous game, from the previous version soundtrack, is there, and some of the tracks are there in the game. It's just that they're remixed. Yeah, I've noticed that listening to some of the tracks. It, yeah, even this track, I believe, uh, was it actually is a remix or a rearrange of a track to a dungeon that we hear uh, visiting. Later. Hey, 
Pelag, or whatever. Pelag, or Cap Pelag. Uh, or what, uh, what have you. Let's try persuading. Sexy beast woman. There. With green hair. Well, you gotta have green hair. Oh, God. Hair. It's an army of Ridius. Uh, it's the after years again. Uh, oh, you mean the main ads. Well, actually, they have blue hair. Well, well bluish green hair. Uh oh. Nah. Uh, let's lie. <laughs> yeah, they're really aliens. They're the ones who caused it. Ah, here we are. Doesn't seem like a lie. Wait, Maki, you're. Uh, they're, they're that gullible. Either that or. What? Oh, that's. What? Gotta write that down, my slush dick. Oh, very funny! <laughs> then again, you can make, like, uh, fanfics oh. of any kind of character in, a, in Demons, in this, you know, in Shin Megami Tensei. You can do, you can do that with any kind of, uh, demon or Beauty demon. Beauty and brawn. Seriously, you can do that with any kind of pairing in this messed up series. Especially in this game, considering how just how screwed up the alternate world is compared to the real world, albeit the real world's just as screwy, but still. Yeah, but no, I, was I was afraid of the fact that uh, the demons here, or the, the demons in this game, they're just like people. It, and even humans can even charm demons. I'm like, what? <laughs> if I recall, there was actually a much, uh, more, much uh, quicker case. Yes, yeah, squicker. <laughs> That's not a word, but we invented it. So thus, it is a word. Okay, there was a case that had much more squick than you you'd think. I think it was had to do with, what was it, Strange Journey? Yeah, it had to do with Mara, actually. Yeah, don't, you, you guys don't want to know who Mara is. You don't. Yeah, just don't, just, uh, don't look it up on Google search. Don't uh, regret it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, your eyes will burn. But, yeah. Oh! Okay, we have another new demon. Um, oh, yeah, right. Also, don't look up Astaroth either. Or don't. Else, or else you will die. No. Uh, Yatsuda Kami. Let's just say for the opposite reasons. Um. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> no, let's just say he has a rather big. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Belly button? Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> a feminist, huh? <laughs> oh, not that shit. <laughs> no, please, I've had enough of that Katawa Shoujo. Thank you so lot, Kenji. Oh, God. <laughs> First, I break your legs, and this look at your arms. I'll bet you figure backwards on a snatch, and I'll take your eyes. Oh! Brandon, right I go, you had to you regret it. Okay, this is your lucky day. You won't be leaving here alive. Oh, give me the goods, huh? What do you want? Turquoise. <laughs> that exit was forcing you to give it to me. It's yours. It's yours, my friend, for the taking. And, uh, I want to spell card, please. Uh, oh, god damn it! Fuck! Oh, well, at least we get an item as a parting gift. A lifestone for healing. Yeah, yeah. Laters. Smell you later! Losers. Kick his ass. Slash. Persona. Okay, this is... Seriously, I hate it when I can't get spell cards. Because I'm too low level. Anyway. Especially when you when you do it completely right. Yeah. Here, eat rapid fire and die. Rapid fire. <laughs> and level 22 for Maki. And level 23 for Reiji. Alright then. Up. Oh. Look, it looks like we're out of time. See you guys in uh, part 12 for when we get out of this subway. Indeed. Let We will see you then. See you then.